Hello. Hello. There's cards. Mm -hmm. Look at all the cards. I think if we don't get a full set with all these, like, I don't know, that, that should came, add up to like more than what that holds, shouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, anyway, thank you guys. We, yeah, we've been given amazing. donations from people. Thank you ever so much. This um, is brilliant. Look at all the cards. Yeah. Well, actually, we get into it. All the cards. I'll open. Okay. Also, I'll just keep looking at the cards. No, I'll get the book ready. You're almost no, no, ready no, no, into a minute to the video. <coughs> then we've got Vampire. Number 29. Vampire. The Oh, are you going to read the it? The vampire no, only has a, his loyal bat for a friend. Everyone else finds oh. him a bit of a pain in the neck. Ha ha ha. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Bye bye. Double. Oh, next one. Evil wizard. I don't think we've got this one. Evil not. wizard has a bad rep. He's more angry. Despite all of his magical powers, he can only make hair grow on the underside of his head. Ha ha ha. Oh. oh. And that's seventy-seven, which links to printing press. Though there had been books before, it wasn't until the German blacksmith Johannes Gutenberg invented his printing press around 1440 that the printing revolution really took off. His movable type system made printing much faster and cheaper than it had ever been before. In no time, printed books spread throughout Europe, making knowledge and information accessible to everyone. Finally, time to publish my book of evil spells, part one. <coughs> There you go, the next one is Ice Cream! Not on ice cream, no. Oh, come on. Oh, it's on the same page as well. Is it? What number? 75. Oh, come on! What? You're taking I'm, your time. At first glance, the ice cream may seem rather cold natured. In fact, she's just worried that her stockpile of ice lollies is running out. 75, yeah? Mm hmm. It will come as no surprise to hear I'm not a fan of the sun. <laughs> and that's heliocentric system. Until the 16th century, people believed Earth was at the centre of the universe. It was Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus who found out that in fact Earth and all the planets in our solar system actually revolve around the sun. The German astronomer Johannes Kepler later confirmed this early theory about our planet and the solar system. And the last card is... <coughs> robots. In the future, more and more advanced robots will make our everyday lives easier. But wh why wait? Go ahead and build your own robot friend. Well, I guess your robot can't really do much at the moment. 137. Create 137. Did you know another futuristic vision that is slowly becoming reality is self-driving cars? A lot of car companies have already tested vehicles with autonomous driving, but it is not clear when these cars will be allowed onto the road. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> My turn! Ah. There we go. That one's I can't even open it again. You can't open it again. Can't open it again. It doesn't want to open. Ta -da! Number 14. Scarecrow. The poor scarecrow has a very tough dig. The crows are his BFFs, but it's his job to scare them away. That's what probably was one on his head. Mm. So, number 14. Ugh, there we go. It says, maybe a bit of lipstick would make me look less scary. Aww. So, which one make, which one links that to one, this one? Because it's 14 So, it's orange, makeup, yeah. yeah. So, makeup. Humans have been using makeup for thousands of years. One of the first civilizations to develop it was the Egyptians. Uh, mm, mm. Both women and men <coughs> used it. Queen Cleopatra. <coughs> Queen Cleopatra used to crush box and other things to create a red paste for her lips. I don't know, why, why yuck? I don't know. We do the same right now. Yeah. The Egyptians invented toothpaste too. 
using various minerals like mint, salt, pepper and ashes, or ashes, and crushing them all together, it might not sound as refreshing as it does today, but it works. It's pretty much the same as we do today. Yeah, yeah. Mint is just a flavouring Yeah. to freshen the breath. Yeah. And you can get, like, ones with salt and stuff in. There you go. Number 138, Babysitter. She may seem like an ordinary girl, but beneath her babysitter facade, she's a tough secret agent. A secret agent who is great at burping babies. Oh. 138. 138. How exactly do you burp a baby robot? <laughs> and does she, does she make with robots? Yeah, yep. she does. Robots. Even today, the world without robots is hard to imagine. Though they don't necessarily look human, they are at work everywhere, from factories to warehouses. This will be even more relevant in the future. Uh, robots could be delivering food, learning without human help, interacting with their environment, selling goods in shops, cooking, sewing. The possibilities are endless. School could, schools could even have robot teachers in digital classrooms. They probably, <laughs> they'd probably still set homework. Yes, they probably would. Forty-nine. Pretzel girl. Who needs burgers and pop music when you can have pretzels and yodeling? The pretzel girl might might be onto something there, actually. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, look, 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 facial recognition. Oh, it's recognising. Um, whatever. What's his name? Julius Caesar. Was that Julius Caesar? Yeah. yeah. Um, whatever the month, it's always a good time for a pretzel. It's a calendar. Calendars have been invented at different points of time, sorry, in time around the world, but it was the Julian calendar developed by the Roman ruler Julius Caesar that is especially important to us. He based it on the duration of the solar year and also introduced a 12 month system, giving them names as well. Aprilis, Augustus, and Julius certainly sounded familiar, don't they? Yeah, that's April, August, and July. I was under the impression that he just added a month and he named it himself. I, I, I thought the calendar was already in place before yeah, that. Yeah, but it, he did rename more of the months than, than just one. Like, he, he altered the names. Hmm. Like, create. What number? It's not focusing. Uh, 20. Purple flower. That is not purple. That is pink. Task. China is home to countless colourful, fragrant and exotic flowers. Design your own flower with the, your most colourful bricks and give it some special... Some, give it to someone special. It's pink, not purple. They lie. Oh, well, maybe they're trying to fool you. Right. I don't think it actually says it, on it. If you do that, I'll uh, like the next one. I thought we were sticking at two. Well, we? Okay. I don't know. Shall we... Hands up who wants a third pack? We, I, we can blitz a third one. Okay, do a third one. Then. We'll blitz it, though. Right, no, no one wants to watch a 12-minute video. Are you sure? Evil robot. You've watched. Check to cat see if we've got number one one zero. Uh, one one zero. One one zero. We'll start reading. It's a pity no one likes the evil robot. No, we haven't. He isn't a bad guy, really. It's just the way he is wired. Ha ha ha. And he says, "No need to measure me. I'm my temp is always icy cold." Thermometer. After many early attempts, a German guy called Daniel Fahrenheit invented the first modern thermometer in 1714. His name is still a unit of temperature today, as well as the Celsius scale invented by Anders Celsius in 1742. It was not until 1867 that Sir Thomas Allbutt invented a practical thermometer that could take a patient's temperature. Mm, there you go. So I think we've got this next one. And it is Cactus Girl. What number? Despite her rather prickly appearance... Uh, 23. Despite her rather prickly appearance, the cat Discar has a very kind heart. She's the, um, plus she's best friends with the hedgehog and the porcupine. We haven't got that already. Oh. 23. I'd love to play, but the balls keep bursting as soon as I touch them. Football. Modern football is hardly a century old, yet traces of the world's favourite game date back way further. Originally used in military training in China more than 2,000 years ago, it slowly but steadily evolved into what we know as football. Back then, a game called Kuju involved kicking a ball into a net. 
Not so different to its modern day relatives. Ooh. I think there would be some arguments over there. Uh... <laughs> I'm arguing, I don't like football, so I'm not going to argue. Um, so the next one is Gorilla Guy Suit. Sorry, Gorilla Suit Guy. Uh, no one really knows why. The Gorilla Suit Guy um, 106. Um, guy wears his costume all the time. It's either for the free bananas or because the zip is stuck. I'd say the zip is stuck. <laughs> Amazing, now I can find bananas in the dark. Light bulb. Before American inventor Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, people had to use candles or messy oil lamps to make light. The first electrical light used a metal base and a wire. When the metal base was screwed into an electrical socket, it created a circuit. The electric current lit up the wire and allowed it to burn for up to 13 hours. As you'd expect, these bulbs were lighting up factories and homes in no time. Okay, so the last one we've got is pirate ship. Arrgh! The pirates of yesteryear were scoundrels with pretty cool beards. Can you build their famous black flag with a white skull on it, known as the Geordie Roger? That, well, but how's that any relevant to what's in the picture? I don't know. But, you know, they had 74. A, got it. Is that so it? haven't got it, it's going in. Okay, well. When I say got it, I mean I've got the place in the book. Okay, well, should we say goodbye to people? Yeah. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye. Bye.